Once you've opened your GeoGebra geometry page, web page, you should have a screen that looks like this. The first thing you should do is just drag this toolbar so that it's a little bit wider, so that you've got a few more buttons showing. It depends on the width of your screen, what size screen you're working on, but I've got uh, four wide, four tools here going across, so I've got a little bit more space, and then click on More. Okay, the tools we're going to be using today, we're going to be using Polygon in the Basic Tools, and we're going to be using Measure in the Angle Tool. We're going to be drawing polygons with different numbers of sides. Uh, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to show you a pentagon which has five sides. I'm going to show you how to draw that and I'm going to show you how to measure the angles. Okay, click on the polygon tool and then a, we're going to draw a pentagon, five sides. So we're going to click for the five vertices, the five corners of the pentagon and then we're going to finish it off by clicking back on the first one again. So one, two, three, four, five, and then to finish it I need to go back and click on point A one more time. You can click wherever you like to make your pentagon, but there's our five-sided shape. Yours doesn't need to look like mine, it can look however you want. Next, go back to the measure tool and click on angle, select it, and then inside the pentagon click and we get all the angles. If you can't see them clearly, go to the move tool and then drag the angles either inside the shape to give you a bit more clarity or outside the shape. And that gives you the five angles for your pentagon that you've drawn. Yours might look different. The next stage is to add those angles up and work out their total. Once you've done that, you'll need to move on to a different shape. The easiest way to do that is just to click the undo button several times and you get back to your blank screen and you can draw your next shape.